Hey YouTubers, JNB here with another video. This video is about 1989 pennies worth money and as always will give you the most recent values. They have some really very rare errors which we will cover too. And what's really cool is you can find them in your change. So check your change. But first we would like to give a shout out to YOLO Manny. He has been part of our coin family for a long time and recently changed his name to YOLO Man after a successful battle with cancer. By the way, YOLO Man stands for You Only Live Once Man. He's a great man. He's got a great attitude. Check out his new channel. Like we said, he's been around for a long time, so he knows what he's doing, but with a new channel and with a new start. Now, 1989 P&D pennies from Philadelphia and Denver mints are very common and easily obtainable in circulation as the U.S. mint struck 7,261,535,000 examples for circulation in Philadelphia and 5,345,000,000 467,111 in the Denver Mint. Finding an example up to MS65 condition is fairly easy. And in grade MS65, coins from Philadelphia are worth about two bucks and from the Denver Mint about seven. So in order to have better profit, you are looking for the best examples and the highest grade known for this penny from the Philadelphia Mint is MS68. And the coin you see in this picture sold at Heritage Auctions in January of 2018 for $312. Still not a huge profit considering that you need to also spend money on grading and most likely the auction fees. The highest grade known for the penny struck in Denver is also MS68. And the coin you see in this picture sold at David Lawrence in May of 2018 for $260. Again, not a bad profit for a penny, but also not huge money. Now, as for proof coins struck in San Francisco bearing the S mint mark, the U.S. Mint struck 3,220,194 coins. These coins, the proof coins, are struck in much better condition on average, so they're selling for even less than regular strike coins. And that applies to other years too. Every time we post a video about proof pennies struck in the San Francisco Mint and give you their recent value, we get messages like, hey, you, you, you must have made a mistake. That's not possible, etc. So just to clarify in advance, it's no mistake. And for this year, the coin you see in this picture is graded proof 70 decamp. It's about as good as it gets. And it's sold in January of 2019 for $37. So by now, you think this year's not worth a lot, but wait till we get to the error coins and see in contrast how valuable they are for this year. And the best of the best, we will show you last. And as we said at the beginning, look for them in your change. Some are obvious, some are less obvious. So the first coin you see in this picture is the 1989 Lincoln cent struck on a clad 10 cent planchet, making an 11 cent coin. It is graded MS66 by PCGS and it's sold at Heritage Auctions for $998. The next coin is a 1989 Lincoln cent, struck 15% off center on a dime planchet and it's graded MS67 by PCGS and sold for $1,092.50. The next error is a 1989 Lincoln cent 
foldover strike graded MS-66 red by NGC and sold at Heritage Auctions for $1,233.75. Now the next one is similar to the first error, but struck on a different year. It's a 1989 Lincoln cent, struck on an 88P dime. It's graded MS-65 and it's sold at Heritage Auction for $2,000. $115. And the last super amazing error, we did a separate video about it and we'll link it to this video, is the 1989D penny struck on a pre-1983 3.1 gram Cropper Blanchet. Now only one is known to exist. We're covering details in our video from a few months ago when it went to auction for the first time. For this error, you need a scale. But if you're truly serious about finding errors, you should weigh all your coins. You don't need anything fancy. The scale we are using costs about eight bucks and it's great and it's doing the job. If you need one, we have a link to them on our website, which you can find that link below every video. So, nothing special about regular pennies from 1989, but you can make really nice profit if you find an error. And as we said before, if there's one, more likely there's more than one. So check your change, have your eyes open, look for them, weigh your pennies. We hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and until next time, J&B, signing out.